rather than overanalyzing things and making it complicated to understand, I'm going to break down what a centrifuge does. A centrifuge is a suction and discharge machine. It takes fluid in and discharges solids and liquids out. If you approach troubleshooting centrifuge with this principle in mind, you will easily find your problem and be well on your way to a solution. Optimization, however, is much more in depth and will be covered in future posts. Here are some tips you can use as a guideline when troubleshooting a centrifuge. Number one, do you have adequate suction or fluid? Working your way back from the rig is the easiest way to go. See if there is fluid at the mud tank valve. Is the mud tank valve pinched back? Is there something plugging the mud tank valve? Are the suction hoses plugged with solids or frozen? Is the feed pump screen box full of solids or frozen? Does the feed pump have air in it? Is the feed hose frozen? Is the ball valve closed or frozen on the feed tube? Does the Victaulic rubber have a hole in it? Does the pump and motor rotate freely? And is the feed pump coupler damaged? Is the feed pump breaker on the centrifuge panel turned on? Has the feed pump switch and button been pressed to start the feed pump? Is the centrifuge at speed light on? Answering these questions will ensure that you have adequate fluid to the centrifuge. Do you have adequate drainage or discharge from the centrifuge? Is there fluid coming out of the overflow pipe? How much volume is coming out of the pipes? Is there any fluid coming down the solid slide? How many pipes are on the overflow of the machine? Is there fluid coming out of the feed tube chamber? Is there any centrifuge vibration out of the ordinary? Is there fluid coming out of the gearbox end of the centrifuge pan? How long are the downpipes on the overflow underneath the centrifuge pan? How long are the downspouts in the trough or the mud tank? Is there a solids buildup around the chute on the solid slide? Are there any solids coming down the slide at all? Are the solids sporadic? Is there any fluid coming down the solid slide? And are the overflow pipes full of solids? Answering these questions will allow you to determine if the centrifuge is properly discharging the solids and the liquids. There you have it folks, that's how I would begin to troubleshoot a problem on one of our center features. If we can edu educate our customers and clients and rig crews on these troubleshooting tips and procedures, we can potentially save you thousands of dollars on your projects. It's a real win-win for everybody. Anytime we have to start one of our trucks for a service call, it costs us around $1,000. If the issue or problem is something that was caused by the operator error, then you can expect to be billed back for that. That's why it's very important to take the initial steps in the troubleshooting process. We are happy to provide you with support over the phone with our great operations team. And as always, if you found this to be a valuable video, please pass it along to your coworkers and colleagues who may benefit. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you, and have a great day.